Let's explore the different types of emails you can send from system.io. With the built-in autoresponder, you can easily send emails to all your contacts. As you've seen throughout this training videos, system.io offers a variety of email options such as automatic emails that can be sent using automation rules and workflows. And you can also find emails in the emails tab of a webinar funnel. Additionally, system.io allows you to send newsletters and email campaigns. So let's create a newsletter which you'll find in your emails tab. A newsletter is just a simple email that is sent once to your contacts according to their tag segmentation. So you need to make sure to add the tags accordingly as you add them so you can send them the newsletters. In order to create one, all you have to do is click create, write an engaging subject, a sender name. So that's the name that you want your contacts to see when they're looking at who sent them this email. Then we get to the sender's email address and it's super important to know that you cannot use any email address here. You can only use Google email addresses, so add Gmail addresses or professional email addresses, which are the ones connected to a custom domain name. As for the other email providers like Outlook, Yahoo, iCloud, Hotmail, you cannot use them here. And the reason for that is for us to make sure that you get the best deliverability possible. In other words, to prevent your emails from going to the spam folder or being flagged. Now we can choose between the visual editor and classic editor to draft our emails. The visual editor is an editor that looks like the one we have in our funnels, whereas the classic editor is just a simple editor when you can write the emails as just basic plain text. So here's a newsletter we just created. Now you can click on it in order to edit and send it. You can customize the sender, the subject, and the sender email address here. Here's where you would write the body of the email. You can write regular text, add an image, and even add videos here in the newsletter. We have some options here as well that you can use in order to change the basic format of the newsletter. You can also add attachments. You would just click here and upload the file that you want to attach. And then we find an option that you cannot find in other emails. You can only find it here in the newsletters. Let's say you don't want to send this newsletter to new subscribers because it may not be relevant to them yet. They're still new, so maybe they don't know what's going on. Then you would use this option. For example, if I put seven days here, it means system won't send this newsletter to anyone who has registered in the past seven days. In other words, only subscribers who registered over seven days ago will receive it. Now, in order to choose the audience who will receive my newsletter, we need to make sure to include the correct tag. So let's include this tag as an example. This tag is called tag example one. So any contact who has tag example one will receive my newsletter when I send it. In the same way, we can also exclude tags, but sometimes subscribers can have two or more tags at the same time. It's possible that there's a contact who has this tag and this tag at the same time. And if this happens, we will give priority to the excluded tag meaning that if a contact has both one included and one excluded tag, they will not receive the newsletter. Just like in the emails for the webinar funnel, we can add available substitutes to newsletters. Of course, you need to make sure that the information that I'll use here is the information that you already have for your contacts in order for it to be replaced. So if you want your emails to feel more personal by adding your contacts first names, make sure all your contacts provided their name. Okay, to send the newsletter, you'll see two options here, save and schedule or save and send a test email. Sending a test email first is a great idea because you can make sure how things look in your inbox first and avoid any mistakes before sending it to all of your contacts. You will be asked to provide a test email address on your email settings so that you can receive test emails anytime you try and send a newsletter or an email campaign. And once you're absolutely certain everything is looking great, you can go ahead and click save and schedule newsletter. You will see three options. So the first one is again, the option to send the test email. Then we have an option to send the newsletter now right at the end. So if I want to send it right now, I would just click here and confirm that the newsletter will be sent immediately. But you can also schedule the newsletter. So you can choose a date and a time to send it. Now, when you go back to the list of newsletters, we'll see that the newsletter has been scheduled. You're going to see the date and time when it's scheduled to be sent. And this yellow circle with the clock inside is the symbol that will let you know that this is a scheduled newsletter. If you don't see any information in the date sent column, that means the newsletter is still a draft. Now, as I showed you before, we can choose to send the newsletter immediately. So let's go back and send it immediately so you can see how it looks on the list. 
Now that the newsletter has been sent, you can see the symbol changed and now it's a green circle with a check mark on it. Once a newsletter is sent, you cannot edit the newsletter or send it again. If you want to send the same one, you would have to duplicate it. You can do that in two ways. So you can click on it and you'll see a message on the top with the option to create a copy and you will create a copy of the newsletter that has not been sent yet. Or you can go into the newsletter options. Just go on the three dots and you'll see a drop down menu. Here you can edit the newsletter, which you can also do by clicking on the newsletter name. Then we have the schedule button. If you click here, you can choose the time and date for the newsletter to be sent. And we can also see the share button. By clicking on it, you will get a share link. So if I copy this link and send it to another system.io user, they will get the same copy of my newsletter in their system.io account. And just like the share funnel link, this link also works as an affiliate link. So if you send it to someone who's not yet a system.io user and they sign up with this link and end up buying one of our paid plans or offers, then you'll get a commission. And finally, we have the duplicate button. So this is the second way to duplicate your newsletter. Now you'll notice this drop-down menu is different for newsletters that have been sent already. The first difference is the stats button. You would click here if you want to see your newsletter's performance and other statistics. You will also find the recent to contact who did not open button. This one is pretty self-explanatory. When you click this button, the newsletter will be sent again, but only to those contacts who did not open the newsletter the first time it was sent. This is a great tool to maximize your open rates and make the majority of your contacts receive the information that you're sharing.